Yeah! Alright! How's everybody doing? I hope you're all having an amazing day. This week we hit a thousand subscribers on this channel, which I'm really grateful for. Thank you all, by the way. And I wanted to do a little subscriber special as usual. Didn't know what to do, so I'm doing something a little bit different than just recording a gaming video. I'm doing a little vlog. I'm gonna show you around my car. It's a pretty special car. It's dear to my heart. And I hope you enjoy the video. <laughs> All right, we're in the garage now. Um, I'm gonna show you the car in just a second. It's right behind me, right there actually. But a little backstory from when I got the car, how I got the car. So in 2017, I passed my driver's license and I was big into cars back then. And I just I just needed a car. I was looking on these websites for to buying a car. And then one day, I think it was 2017, like July or something, this car popped up, great price for what it was. It needed a lot of work, but that was okay because I wanted to do that. And then I was like, let's, let's freaking do it, man. So we went all the way there. I think it was like a two hour drive, not too bad. Tess drove the car, it was pretty good. And I took it back with me the same day. So let's, let's show it to you now, let's show it to you. All right, we're in the car right now. It started to rain out of nowhere. I don't want to be out too long with this camera because it's not like weatherproof or anything. I hope you enjoyed that little show around the car. This is basically just how I bought the car. I didn't do that much to it. Um, I'll tell you quickly what I did to it. I changed the seats out, not that big of a deal. I wrapped these things. They were the same color as the dashboard right here. Uh, I want to wrap that as well. So I did that. Uh, I got new wheels on it. I know I need to wash the car. I gotta get to that. Visually, I also wrapped the grill. I'll put a little picture here of how I bought it. Uh, so you can see what I did. So it's wheel seats, some aesthetic stuff, nothing too bad, but most of the work went into the car itself, like uh, the engine, the steering rack, uh, the, the subframe in the back was completely rusted out. So we needed to replace that. And we did that. It was a lot of fun to do. It was a little hard sometimes because I don't know too much about cars, but it was a lot of fun. I did it all with my dad. So thank you as well. But enough talking. Let's start this puppy up. She's a feisty one, boy. She's a feisty one. Oh, yeah. yeah, I want to teach you all something really quickly. Uh, a lot of older cars, I mean, I think all older cars have this, but all the new cars don't anymore. So you got this thing here. This is a choke. It's a choke, boys. Look at the, look at this. If I pull it out, it's gonna go up. And if I push it in, it's gonna go down. So when you wanna start this car, you need to use the choke, because otherwise... Otherwise, it's not gonna start. So if you wanna steal this car, ladies and gentlemen, keep that in mind. Let's, uh, let's go for a little drive. I, need, I think I need some fuel, so... Yeah, we do need some fuel. Before we actually drive off, I want to show you the engine really quickly. I don't know if you can hear me, but this is it. It's a little four-cylinder, four-cylinder, about 50 horsepower. Pretty good, man. Light car, beautiful. Look at it. All right, let's take it for a spin, shall we? <laughs> Rainy though, it's not very nice. Whew. Man, what is one of the nice things about this car is it's quite loud. 
you know, all the new cars are pretty good padded up everywhere. It's nicely isolated, but this car, when you, when you shut off the engine, it's so peaceful. It's so quiet. It's so, you hear like the raindrops on the car. It's really nice. Yeah. Uh, I just, you can't see it anymore. But the fuel was almost empty, so you know, I went to uh, go ahead and fill her up a little bit. It was a bit too busy at the gas station, so I couldn't film anything there, but I just want to tell you something uh, a little bit about this car. And, you know, what's so nice about having just any car, really? It doesn't really have to be an old car, it could be any new car. If you have a Tesla, that's sick, man, but it's just such a different experience. What I love about this is the steering shifting gears everything it's there are almost no assists in it you know it's so pure and it's nice i like it so one positive thing about this car is it gets me from point a to b and it does that pretty well it's surprisingly reliable i shouldn't say that because a lot of classic mini owners they know like these cars are not reliable at all but it's it's doing its job you know i'm i'm treating it decent enough i think that's point one you know gets me from point a to b that's a bit boring because that's what the car's supposed to do you know uh it can carry four people man look at that there is room for two more people in there you wouldn't think so but there is and now you got the trunk i'll show you So the trunk, as you can see, because this car fits four people, it's not that big. You can put like one, one box of beer. Is that? I don't know. It just fits like one, like grocery bag, beer thing. You know what I mean? One, one of these, man. One of these. It's enough, man. For me, I, I don't really do anything with it. So that's the practical side, okay? That's not the reason why I bought this car, so I don't know why I'm talking so much about it. But let's just go to the to the real reason why I bought this car, shall we? It's lovely. It's lovely to drive in any condition in the snow. I don't care. It's fun, man. In the rain. It's a little slippery. It can handle it. It's just, it's so pure. I love it. Just going out of town a little bit, driving along these narrow roads, windy roads, it's so fun. It's, it's very close to where I live as well, so it's very convenient. It's like watching a good movie, you just forget about the whole world around you, and you're just driving a car, that's all you're doing. It's great. I would love to show you more of this car driving, but the conditions aren't too good, it's raining outside. I can't really put my camera in the wet and drive around it or anything. I can't drive and film me driving, that's a bit dangerous. The first shot you saw me drive, uh, uh, that's good, you know, but I'm not gonna do that anymore. I can, I can show you a little driving here, it's pretty clear here, so. Thank you for watching this video. I'll do, we'll give a little nice shots of the car and then I'll hopefully, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching and thank you for 1000 subscribers. Bye bye. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye! <laughs>